A rough interpreting session is an inevitable reality for every single interpreter. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Alhan and I'm an interpreter and children's author. We all have experienced that bad session, that session that made us feel really down after it was done. It's just part of the job because of the nature of the job. We don't know what is coming next for us. We are dealing with human beings and there are many unexpected things that can happen during the session. We don't know how the patient is going to react to a bad news. We might not know all the terminologies used. Dealing with such sessions can crush our self-esteem or bring it very low, but we need to be careful about that and we need to carry the necessary tools with us that would help us overcome such emotions. I think that as long as your mistake haven't altered someone's life, you need to take it easy and accept that mistakes can happen. So what are some of the things that you can do after a rough interpreting session? First, take care of yourself. Take a deep breath. Do something that calms you down. It could be taking a deep breath. It could be using essential oils. It could be doing a 20 minutes meditation. It can be listening to music. It can be reading a book. Whatever makes you calm down do it. Once you are fully calmed down, this could vary from person to person. You could calm down within minutes, hours. Some people might need days or weeks. However time you need to just feel a little detached from that experience, you think you're able to see it from a more logical point of view and outsider's perspective, then it's time to start thinking about it. Ask yourself this question. Was there Anything that you could have done to prevent the bad or rough situation that happened? Was there anything in your control? Yes or no? If the answer is no, you have done your best. It still went roughly. It still went in an unexpected way. But there was nothing you could do to prevent it. Now, the next question is, is there something you can do about it now? Could you reach out to the provider and discuss the matter with them? Do you need to apologize for something? Depending on the situation, ask yourself if there is something that you can do now to improve the situation for this time. Going back to the main question, was there something that you could have done to prevent the rough situation or the bad situation? If your answer is yes to that question, bring a pen and paper and write down the things that you could have done to try to prevent that situation. Maybe it could be preparing better, have a better preparation. Maybe you knew what the topic was about, but you still did not prepare all the necessary vocabulary that would be used in that topic or in that session. Maybe you were very tired and you were foggy and that's why your performance was not as you expected it to be, as you wanted it to be. So the solution would be taking better rest before the session. Were you hungry? Were you thirsty? These are all things that could distract the mind. So see if there were things related to your health that were the reason for the situation that you were in. What else could have been the reason? Was it because you didn't have enough pens when you needed to take notes? Was it because you ran out of papers and you needed more papers to take your notes on? Was it that you were on vacation and you, now you jumped into this session and your brain was not ready to start interpreting again? List all the reasons that you think were the cause of the rough interpreting session that you had and also you need to see what you can do now is there something that you can do now to improve the situation i know it's very 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 tough for many of us to admit that we have made a mistake but that's the best thing you can do 
to own it if what happened was your mistake. Own it, apologize about it, tell whoever you need to tell that this would not be repeated again and do everything in your power to make sure that it will not be repeated again. If after everything you've done so far and all the time you needed to take, you've taken it, but you still feel that you're not over that experience and your career as an interpreter could be affected by it. If I were you, I would consider some form of counseling to work and see what are the inner issues behind how I'm feeling about the situation and ask someone who is an expert to run with you through everything that happened and see how you can help yourself come to terms with how you are feeling about it, help you experience everything, yes, and then go through it and move on, not to get stuck there. Hope that was helpful. You are an interpreter listening to this. I would love to hear in the comments a difficult situation that you have been through and what you could have done to prevent it from happening. I have an example for you, and it's actually in this video, documented for you, in which I was not expecting to hear some of the vocabulary I heard about the topic of the video. So could I have prevented it? Probably by reading more on the topic. I think I could. How did I handle it? It wasn't a very critical situation. So I just asked the person I was interviewing to explain the term and I interpreted the explanation. How did I feel about it? Very embarrassed. I did not want to post this video at all, but then I thought that would be a bigger embarrassment. I took a guest's time, I interviewed them and I wanted to post it because there was an important message in what they had to share and also the whole purpose of the video was seeing an interpreter in action and seeing the mistakes are part of the job and are actually a very important part of it. So feel free to check it out. If you don't speak Arabic, you will still pick them up because the terms I did not understand were in English and I had to interpret them into Arabic. Hope this was helpful to you. Please check the rest of the videos in this channel. And if you like this kind of content, please like, share, and subscribe. And see you next time. Bye.